Right, I'm just going to walk you through installing Konica Minolta driver onto a Windows 7 machine just for use with an Olivetti MF280 360 or 220 um, just the latest Konica Minolta driver I've just downloaded it from their site just got to extract the files and we'll do it to the desktop Okay, that's fine. So that's on the desktop there, look. Okay, so let's do add printer. It's on Windows 7, obviously, depending on the operating system, it'll be slightly different. We'll do add a local printer and create a new port on TCP IP port. And then put in the IP address, I'll do 192. Uncheck that. Next. This takes a little while. This might take a little bit longer than normal because I've not actually got a device set up. I'm doing this from home. Right, so, okay, set up the TCP IP port. Just leave it on generic network card, do next. Right, next part is have disk. So now you browse through to the folder that we uh, where are we? That one. It's a 64 bit driver. So it's, so it's Conic Minolta C360 series, which is the same as the Olivetti MF360 280 220. Just give it a more meaningful name. Call it 280 for this one. Oh. And it's a PCL driver. Okay, um, so this is part where if you want to share it, so off on the network, so if you're doing this on a server, you'd want to do that. You might want to put some information in there, but I'm not going to. Print the test page. I'm not going to do that at this stage. Okay, so that's set up. So now we need to configure it. So right click, go to printer properties. You can see it's trying to auto configure, but because this is a Konica driver, it won't auto configure on a Olivetti device. We're just going to turn this off in a minute. Also, I need to turn that off because it slows everything down. Right, so first thing we need to do is go to configure tab and get that lovely little window come up again. Okay, first thing we need to do is actually turn that off. So go to obtain settings, turn auto off, okay that, and then press apply. Now this will speed everything up. Okay, so we've got the basic model there, function version 3. So 
I want to do it for 280 so I select it there I want to select finisher um, and it's an FS527 which is on the Olivetti driver it will say something like finisher 1, finisher 2 for this one it's the FS527 um, I want to install a punch kit so EU4 hole saddle kit because I want to do booklets okay hard disk already knows it's installed and that's it okay so that's all the options on the machine now if you wanted to put account track on there so if you want to track everybody's usage through printing and copying you'd actually turn it on here but if you wanted to do account track but not um, track anybody's printing you'd leave that disabled and you'd set the machine to print with out uh, print with out authentication um, let's just say you've got account track on so I'm going to enable that and you've got two options now you can either tell the machine to pop up with a little box every time somebody prints and they have to put their number in or you can go into each person's drive and you can actually hard code their number in which we'll come to in a minute um, the other thing I like to do is this my tab thing here is yeah, so I turn that off reply that okay so next thing we do is go to advanced printing defaults and this is where basically make sure obviously the original size is A4 if it's gone to letter then obviously it thinks it's a, we're in the states I turn collate off that's basically to stop any conflicts with word and things like that apply that and um, what we're saying about authentication account track on each person's client workstation if you wanted to hard code it in you'd have to go into the uh, printing defaults of each person and click on this box it'll take a little while because it's trying to query the machine that's not there right it's finished so all you need to do then is put their password in there so usually a four digit code once that's done press OK I'm not going to do it for this demo um, the other thing I like to do is go to quality and most people like to set the printer to print in grayscale as default so we put on grayscale um, I like to put it on DTPs, it's the same as text and photo on the photocopier you can leave it on document, makes it slightly darker, entirely up to you personal preference, I like to put it on DTP, don't have to do that um, if you want it defaulted to double sided, go to layout it's already defaulted to two sided this is obviously, they made a driver which basically as default puts in the two sided settings um, on the later driver so this is probably that one um, ok that go to general preferences go up there just make sure that those settings are the same because if you're doing this on a server when you pull it across if they're not the same in both those windows when you pull it across it doesn't pull all the settings across that's it so you just press print test page and that's pretty much it.